The following is a production of Learfield Sports. It was yet another overtime game on Saturday for the Wisconsin Badgers, and unfortunately, another very hard to take loss as Penn State wins an OT 24 to 21. We'll sit down with Badgers head coach Brett Bielema, talk about the game, and also talk about a very positive note from the game on Saturday, Monte Ball, breaking the NCAA record for touchdowns as he scored in the first quarter. We'll go inside the coach's classroom with defensive co-coordinator Chris Ash. We'll also talk to some of the players, get their opinion on who are the best athletes in this Wisconsin Badgers football team. That's all coming up on the Badger Sports Report. Phillips under his center, Travis Frederick takes the snap, toss right side, Monte Ball to the 20, to the 15, ball to the 10, ball to the 5, ball to the end zone, touchdown Wisconsin! The NCAA touchdown record belongs to Ball! A 17-yard run working off the right side as Monte Ball is in for the 79th time in his career, and the Badgers lead it 13-7. to um, Well, it was just a simple pitch play, and I seen that everyone was uh, giving me the edge on my team. They were blocking the guys in. Um, so I didn't want to let my team down, so I kept it on the outside and just tight rope the sideline for a touchdown. Sir, number 79, did it feel special? Yeah, it felt really special, yeah. Um, Kind of a, you know, it's an honor, it's a blessing to, to you know, have that record. Um, kind of bittersweet at the time, but I'm, 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 I'm happy though for it. Here's the snap. Phillips rolling right, looking, throws, end zone, caught, touchdown, Wisconsin. Jeff Duckworth on the catch, and the Badgers are in with 18 seconds left in regulation time. Ball high step to the five. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Off by Taylor. 40, 45, 50. Fires picked off. Boylan quick through. 40. Makes a tackle. Touchdown, James White. The Wisconsin Badgers are headed to Pasadena. There it is. One day. In zone. Abraderas. He has it. Touchdown, Wisconsin. And it's intercepted by Shelton Johnson. The Badger Sports Report with Brett Bielema is brought to you by your Badgerland Chevy dealers, Coca-Cola, Charter Communications, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board, Hyundai, Adidas, and UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. We are pioneers, pathfinders, trailblazers. Every day we explore the biological frontier in search of a cure for cancer, inventing treatments, establishing protocols, bettering humankind. We are the world-class physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at the University of Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center, Wisconsin's only NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. UW Health. Remarkable. family's favorite show shouldn't have to fight to be seen. With Charter, you get four DVRs. So now every family member can watch what they want, when they want, where they want, without any battles. Call now to get DVR service for your home. Hello. Hi. May I start? Special medium water lemon three ice cubes. Thank you. Less. More. No. Perfect. No. No. That guy. Hi. No. No. Hello. No. Hi. Yes. I'll take the Elantra, please. Great. Which one? An easy decision just got harder. Sorry about that. The Elantra, now also available in Coupe and GT. From Hyundai. Ah, the workout is over. Time to recover, refuel, and re-energize. Recent studies suggest that one drink can help muscles recover faster than other leading sports drinks. Delicious, nutritious chocolate milk. With its powerful package of protein, potassium, calcium, and six other essential nutrients, shouldn't chocolate milk be your choice? 
got chocolate milk? Badgers wrapped up the regular season on Saturday afternoon, and this is sounding repetitive, another down-of-the-wire game, close games once again, Brett. And I know you guys have, you have the Big Ten championship game ahead of you, but, but your guys have, man, they've had to go through a lot of tough stuff. They play, play so hard again. No one can fault the effort. Uh, knowing what's ahead, though, is that one of the main messages in the locker room? Say, hey, look, it's 0-0 now. You start next week. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any other message other than uh, we'll take today as a learning experience. We'll... Uh, look at the film. Um, obviously, a lot of corrections that can be made, but a lot of really good things to point out. Um, and then we'll, we'll lock in Sunday after we put that film to rest and get ready for a rematch game, much the same as we had a year ago against uh, Michigan State, a team that beat us in a heartbreaker uh, on the road. Um, and I know uh, uh, our kids will respond to the challenges they have all year long. You were asked, actually the last couple of weeks in your Monday news conference, you were asked about, okay, You've clinched the bid to Indianapolis. Do you pull back? And I think the answer was an emphatic no. A couple, you know, Chris Borland couldn't play because of an injury, but otherwise it was it was full go. It was. Uh, you know, we had a lot of guys. Robbie Hattestein didn't even practice until uh, Thursday, and that was partial. And thought he did a tremendous job out there today. You know, did everything we could. And uh, obviously, Chris Borland is right on the verge. I think he's going to be uh, able to join us this week. And the, the sad thing is, obviously, uh, we lost a. Uh, three games in a row in overtime is just absolutely devastating. But on the same side of it, uh, we made the games what they were and, and unfortunately weren't able to close it, but our kids have, have moved forward. Well, it's, in these last two, Brett, you, you, your guys had to score late in the final minute of regulation to force overtime. We see Kurt Phillips again engineering a drive. And, and Jeff Duckworth, uh, we saw this last December with Jeff making a big play in Indianapolis. Fourth down, Kurt. Jeff, everybody on offense came up clutch. Yeah, I thought uh, you know our, our receivers did a nice job. We were without Abby uh, to close the game out there. We lost him on the series before that, and uh, obviously there are a lot of guys out there, new faces and new spots. But uh, Kurt, Kurt again delivered uh, a, a dramatic uh, two-minute offense and was able to convert it into a touchdown. The last play of the game was actually our two-point play, uh, so uh, didn't want to run our second uh, option on the two-point play. Fought. We just get it into overtime and, and, and take our chances from there. The wind was swirling. It was howling throughout the day. How much did that affect what you guys could try to do? Well, I, I think uh, in the fourth quarter as of late there, too, just, you know, I mean, that was a pretty tough kick for, for Kyle. But uh, that stadium probably of all the stadiums in the Big Ten is the hardest to predict, especially in those type of scenarios. It, both both uh, directions kind of switched halfway through the game. Mm -hmm. It, it takes a toll. Your defense played so well. I know the offense, after the first two possessions, and we'll get to Monte's touchdown here in a, in a minute, but that first two possessions, the offense struggled. Penn State obviously gets credit defensively for what it did. But eventually, did that take a toll, you think, uh, on your defense a little bit being out there? I did. You know, in that situation, that last touchdown, we had them backed up third, and you know they had a 15-yarder for, for offensive pass interference. Wanted to take them out of field goal range because uh, I thought they might go that, that option again. And obviously, uh, um, they hit a, a critical third down to get them into a manageable fourth and eight, I guess it was, and that converted into a touchdown. You mentioned you didn't have Chris Boyle in your linebackers, and we actually said this after a game earlier in the year, your three linebackers combined for double-digit tackles. Again, or each had double-digit. Ethan Armstrong, 12, Mike Taylor, 11, and Derek Landish getting his first start ends up with 10 tackles. Derek, Land, Derek Landish has played some, but for a first start, first blush, what did you think? You know, I, I, I uh, knew this. Uh, he was going to Put a lot on his plate. Obviously, you're replacing number 44. It's a, it's a big big shoes to fill. But, um, you know, he's been, a, I told him in, in our pregame meals that, uh, you know, he started all year. He started a punt, punt return, kickoff coverage, kickoff return. He's one of the few guys on our team that had done that all year long. So he'd played a lot of football, but this one was the starting Mike linebacker. And I'm sure he's going to make some, some corrections, but I'm very excited. It'll probably be the first of many starts for Derek Landish. We need to talk about Monte Ball setting the record. Uh, 79 career touchdowns now, a 17-year run in the first quarter. Gets him the mark. And I know you've talked about it a lot. He's done this really, for the most part, in two and a half years. But that was a well-executed play. He had, had some good blocking up front and did what he needed to yeah, do. Yeah, I thought that was a, a nice design. Um, obviously took advantage of the tight rope and down the sideline over there. But a lot of guys doing a lot of good blocking in front of him which Monty's the first thing to point out, but uh, glad to see him finally get it, and then now hopefully uh, <laughs> add a few on to make sure no one ever catches him. Yeah, I think he admitted to, to some relief. This He's enjoyed the journey of getting there, but having it done, 
and not having to be asked about it anymore has got to be kind of nice, probably for everybody, but most notably for Montana. It is. I think it's something just kind of nice, confident, an unbelievable effort, um, a great effort uh, in, in several years of getting it done. But uh, now it is kind of just full speed ahead, Big Ten Championship, Nebraska, rematch, everything we want. Yeah, you mentioned uh, the Cornhuskers defeating Iowa, hard-fought game, blustery conditions on Friday when Nebraska beat beat Iowa. Taylor Martinez has played well. Brex Burkhead has been hurt getting back into the lineup, but the weapons are plentiful, are they not, with Amir Abdullah, the running back number eight, some good receivers to, to throw to, very explosive offense. It is. Uh, apparently an offense, too, that's gotten better. Um, as the year goes on, obviously, it's an inside game, uh, you know, so there really aren't going to be any weather factors into it. It should be just guys line up, trying to execute, do their assignments. But the city is great. You I mean, it's a business trip for you guys, but I think for a venue to go to city to watch a Big Ten championship game, hard to try, top the drama from last year when you beat Michigan State, but just the whole event is a lot of fun, I would think. Well, I think, you know, uh, I, I've told our kids all along, sometimes you got to go through some bad days to get to a great day. This Saturday could be a great day. Um, we, we've put a lot into this season. We've put a lot into it, invested. I know it's people that are, Probably sitting there, am I going to go watch a seven and five uh, Wisconsin team in a Big Ten championship game? I guarantee we're going to we're going to deliver um, our best product of the year, and I think our kids will be excited. And there's nothing better than an opportunity to play a one game playoff, and if you win, you go to the Rose Bowl for the third straight year. That's pretty incredible. Which is something that has not happened in Wisconsin football history, but can if Wisconsin defeats. Uh, Nebraska on Saturday to kick off about 7.15 Central Time from Lucas Oil Stadium. Coach returns in a few minutes with a great day in question of the week. We'll also go inside the coach's classroom with defensive coordinator Chris Ash. All that and more as the Badger Sports Report continues. Um, I mean, we just got to, the way we always play when we have to score a touchdown is the way we need to play from the snap. You know, we always rally at the end and score a touchdown with 20 seconds left to go in the game. We need to start like that at the beginning of the game, which I think we're going to really focus on this week. Uh, not a not a good regular season. I mean, no secret at all. It's not, not that good at all. But um, going into the Big Ten Championship game, we're really going to focus on you know, playing our style and for four quarters. And I believe if we come out with a victory, it'll erase all of this. It's extremely disappointing. You know, you just, I don't know, I don't think anybody is, would even think that we would have gotten three overtimes in the first place, especially coming into this game. I mean, I give all the credit to Penn State. We came out and we did what we were supposed to do. It, I mean, it shouldn't even came down to this, but the fact that it did and we're on this side of the overtime, like you said, it's just, I mean, I don't know how to explain it right now. I mean, honestly, I don't know if I, if I want to leave this one here. You know, it, just seeing how the whole season went and how we're, I think we're seven and five now, I think, Next week we can just use that whole the whole season, you know, to just as an eraser game. I feel like next week, if we win next week, none of this matters. If we win next week, next week, last week doesn't matter. If we win next week, Oregon Oregon State doesn't matter, you know. So I mean, I feel like there's to a certain extent you have to you have to leave it here. But I mean, I feel like it could be we can use it as fuel to you know feel us in Nebraska. So. Where others saw lumber, we recognized a treasure. Where others saw the night, we chose the stars. Where others saw pieces, we unlocked the puzzle that could mean the end of paralysis and cancer. Since 1848, thinkers and achievers at Wisconsin have fearlessly sought ideas that transform the world. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on. about it. Brought to you by your Badgerland Chevy dealers. I think Chris Borland is the best athlete on the team, bar none. The guy can jump out of pools. You see that on, on YouTube or whatever, the guy jumps out of a pool, the guy can do it. He can do backflips. He's crazy. Uh, I think Dad Sutherland is one of the best athletes on the team. Uh, he's just ridiculously athletic. He actually didn't play football until senior year of high school and he came here, so he's a freak. I can't pick one. We got, we got so many. I guess that Des Southard is probably one of the better athletes all around that we got. He's fast and he can do a lot of stuff, so I guess Des Southard is my choice. I'd probably say uh, Desmond Southward because he can jump through the roof. I would say Desmond Southward, he's fast, he can jump, he can do pretty much anything out there on the football field. Uh, Des Southward, definitely our most athletic guy. He can run and jump. He's uh, kind of a freak. Maybe Des Southward, 
I don't know, he's really quick. He can run fast, he can jump high, so. <laughs> Me, of course, just because I'm from Florida, we have the best athletes. <laughs> best athlete, I'd have to say Chris Borland. Um, just a freak athlete. He, there's nothing he can't do, for sure. I'm Chris Borland. I mean, that kid, you know, whether it's kicking a football, kicking a soccer ball, anything. I mean, he's just a freak. I have to go with Jared Abadish because I heard he was a, a freak at track, track, and uh, I believe he carries it on the field as well with football. Chris Borland is the best athlete on the team. He, uh, the, the stuff he does, just, just fooling around, goofing around, he'll just pull backflips out here and there, you know, just, just crazy stuff like that. And some of the plays he makes on the football field are just awesome. Okay, once again, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go myself again. Um, I do weigh the most on the team, and I am also probably one of the fastest. Okay, that's definitely a lie. Um, probably the best athlete on the team, I would say, would be, I gotta go Shelton Johnson. The guy can run, he's real powerful. Uh, uh, I'd say Shelton. Um, I'd probably have to say Monty Ball. Because, I mean, the ball belongs to Ball. What else, what else can you say about that? Best athlete on the team is definitely Desmond Southward. I mean, the kid's a freak coming out of high school, and he's still you know, doing unbelievable things. Uh, I have to go uh, D-line, Jake Nenna, man. Like, his quickness is just amazing. Like, just watching him, you know, and one-on-one just blows my mind. More Wisconsin fans choose Chevy over the competition. Here's why. Chevy Malibu gets up to 37 miles per gallon with more standard horsepower than Ford Fusion or Toyota Camry. Malibu's warranty is 40,000 miles longer than Ford and Toyota. Plus, Malibu comes with OnStar and the available new MyLink system. Right now, lease a Chevy Malibu for $199 per month. Great fuel economy, high-tech features. Now that is a winning combination. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. What light does, gets in your head. You can't avoid it. You can't escape it. Because what light does, weighs on you. Do what light does in the 7.9 ounce Audi Zero Five Star. These are the heavyweights, the visionaries, the A-listers. These are the people inventing the technologies and establishing the protocols for treatments that don't yet exist. This is who you turn to when no one else seems to have the answer. These are the world-class physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at UW Health and the University of Wisconsin. UW Health. Remarkable. Today in the coach's classroom, we're going to take a look at one of the drills that we use with our defense called the box tackle drill. The box tackle drill is a drill that we use to simulate making a tackle out in the open field. Here you can see in this drill, we have a 10 by 10 box set up here with the dots. Here in the white jersey, we have a uh, defender uh, that's going to be making a tackle. Here in the red jersey, we have an offensive player. Uh, and again, this 10 by 10 box simulates making a tackle out in the open field. The drill is started with the two hit command. We say ready, ready, and the defender will start to chop his feet in place. On the second hit, the defender will enter the box. We talk about a run balance hit, or sprint, come to balance, shimmy your feet, and then execute a tackle. So in this drill, again, uh, here in the white jersey, we've got the uh, defender. Here in the red jersey, we got the offensive player. We start it, say set hit, they start to fire the feet in place. And now we're gonna execute an open field tackle where the running back here has a two way go on the defender. So the defender will enter the box. He's going to sprint as he starts to get close to the ball carrier, approximately about three to four yards away. He's going to start to come to balance. We use the term come to balance. Uh, it means widen your base. You can see his feet start to widen. Okay, 
He bends at the knees, sinks his hips, but he continues to work towards the ball carrier. We call that shimmy in the feet. So it's sprint, come to balance, shimmy your feet. Okay, from there, this running back has a two-way go on the defender. We want to be able to take a lateral mirror step in the direction of the running back here. You can see he's going to step with his right foot as the defender breaks to, uh, or the uh, running back breaks to the defender's right. He'll take a lateral mirror step, and then we're going to tackle the near hip. We're going to execute an angle tackle. And on the finish, we want to get our head across the bow. Okay, we want a club, uppercut, and wrap uh, cloth, and we want to run our feet on contact to finish the drill. So again, ready, ready, set, hit, fire the feet, set, hit, enter the box, sprint, come to balance, shimmy the feet, lateral mirror step, attack step, tackle the near hip, close the outside hip on contact, so we're running the ball carrier back, and we finish the drill. Next defender gets up, same thing. Ready, ready, set, hit, fire the feet in place. Second hit, enter the box, run, bounce, Shimmy the feet, lateral mirror step, attack and tackle the near hip, head across, close the outside hip, and run our feet. Knock the ball carrier back. Okay, as you look at this defender here, okay, all the elements are, are good here where he runs in the box, comes to bounce, shimmies the feet, but now look at the difference. There's no lateral mirror step here, and you know, when we get our body into this position, we have a tendency to miss tackles out in space. We have to be able to keep our uh, feet with a good base, keep our uh, hips and shoulders square to the line of scrimmage so we can redirect if this guy makes a double move. Right now, if, if uh, this ball carrier would step to, our, to his right and go back to his uh, left, we would not have the ability to uh, execute a tackle off that double move and we'd probably miss it out in space. And that's really what we're working on uh, in this drill. One last example here, we've got again a defensive back. Ready, ready, set, hit, hit, sprint into the box, come to balance, shimmy the feet, lateral mirror step with the right foot, then we're going to attack the near hip. Okay, the other point we want to make here is with our hands. We want to try to holster our hands. We want to take our hands and holster them to our hips like we're getting ready to pull the guns. We don't want to open the parachute and widen our, our arms. We want to club, uh, uppercut, grab cloth, run our feet and close the outside hip and drive the ball carrier back. This is Chris Ash, and thank you for coming inside the coach's classroom. Football, Wi-Fi, wings, now that's a business plan. Glad you like it. Question is, how are you liking Charter Business? Well, our internet's a lot more powerful than with phone company DSL. It can actually run all this now. Plus, we've got reliable phone and we're saving like crazy. Another everyday victory. Let me see your end zone dance. No, I, I don't dance. All right, let's just do a flying chest bump and call it a day. To save over 25% versus the phone company and get up to a $500 gift card, call now. Hello. May I start? Special medium water lemon three ice cube. Thank you. Less, more, no. Perfect. No, no. That guy. Hi. No, no. Hello. No. Hi. Yes. I'll take the Elantra, please. Great. Which one? An easy decision just got harder. Sorry about that. The Elantra. Now also available in Coupe and GT. From Hyundai. When you buy Wisconsin dairy products, your hard-earned dollar brings you more than just the quality and great taste you know and love. It supports the dairy industry, which in turn reinvests that money back into your community, resulting in better public services, abundant recreation opportunities, and a beautiful place to call home. In all, dairy contributes $26.5 billion to Wisconsin's economy and eventually comes back to benefit you. To learn more, visit youtube.com slash dairyimpactwisconsin. The Learfield Sports Directors' Cup is the crowning achievement in college athletics. Awarded annually to the nation's best overall program in each division, both women's and men's sports. Celebrating its 20th anniversary, the Learfield Sports Directors' Cup proudly honors exceptional student athletes and their schools. To follow your favorite team, visit thedirectorscup.com. Look for standings regularly in USA Today or follow the Learfield Sports Directors' Cup on Twitter or Facebook. The Learfield Sports Directors' Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. The Badger Sports Report with Brett Bielema is brought to you by your Badgerland Chevy dealers, Coca-Cola, Charter Communications, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board, Hyundai, Adidas, and UW Health 
a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. This week's Great Day and Great Question of the Week comes from Howard in Prairie Duchene. Wants to know, Coach, for the Big Ten Championship game, does your team get to have a full practice at Lucas Oil Stadium for the game? Howard, that's a great question. It's actually probably one of the more uh, exciting parts of the whole trip as the kids get to go over there to the Colt Stadium. Uh, there'll be, uh, um, it's kind of a, a, a big game feel, you know, something our kids really were enjoying last year. We actually practiced the early session on Friday. Last year we had the afternoon session, so we'll be over there a little bit earlier this year, go through our Friday routine over there, and then actually have a pretty big media event that you got to go to afterwards with your, I believe, six selected players or four selected players. And then uh, sit around and wait all day Saturday uh, because it's a, a night game and, and a venue that uh, is second to none. And I know the advantage we have, I believe, this year is that we've been there and you've seen it. You know the excitement, the energy that it brings, and our kids will be very, very pumped. All right, Howard, we thank you very much for your question. The Great Dane with four locations in Madison, downtown, as well as the east side of town, Hilldale and Fitchburg, where the Coach's Radio Show happens on Thursday nights during the season. And for you folks in Wausau, you know this, everybody near Wausau, know, know that there is a Great Dane in the Wausau area as well. Join us next week as we recap the Badgers and Nebraska in the Big Ten Championship game and look ahead to the Badgers back in a bowl game. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. For more than 60 years, the Mendota Gridiron Club has been a loyal supporter to the Badger football program. In my 20 years in college football, I have never seen anything like the Mendota Gridiron Club. As a member, you'll get closer to the program with weekly meetings during the season, special events, golf outings, and more. In today's tough economy, we appreciate your support now more than ever. Become a part of something special. Become a Mendota Gridiron Club member today. What light does, gets in your head. You can't avoid it. You can't escape it. Because what light does, weighs on you. Do what light does in the 7.9 ounce Audi Zero Five Star. Where others saw limits, we found a key to feeding a hungry planet. Where others thought big, we proved the power of small. Where others saw a frozen desert, we discovered a lens into the heart of the universe. Since 1848, thinkers and achievers at Wisconsin have fearlessly sought ideas that transform the world. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on.